Hey guys, how's it going? August is now upon us. Holy cow, it's already going to be August. It seems like just yesterday it was last August, but now we have a whole slew of Nintendo Switch games coming out in the month of August. I know you guys are tired of hearing me talk about the Nintendo Switch, but it's just my video game console of choice. Call me a Nintendo fanboy, call me a shill, call me whatever you want. I love it, I'm excited, and August has a great selection of games that I want to talk about and pick my favorite ones out of the bunch. So without any further ado, let's begin today's video, and if you are brand new, feel free to throw that subscription, throw it like Nolan Ryan, and smash that like button, and let's begin. So the first game that I want to talk about off the top of my head for the month of August on the Nintendo Switch is going to be a stinker, Bubsy. Bubsy Paws on Fire. So this is like, I guess, a brand new Bubsy game. I mean, he's he's notorious for being one of the worst games of all time on Bubsy 3D. And then I think the 16-bit ones weren't too bad. You know, the originals. Uh, this one comes out actually at the end of August, August 29th. It's going to be available physically for the Nintendo Switch. It's going to be in the eShop for $24.99. And I'm betting physically it will be $39.99 so why not just pay about 10 bucks more to get it physically um if you're a retro gamer like me and stuff you're more than likely going to get this game just because of the name value or the lack of name value or the notorious name value alone i mean bubsy it's bubsy and it's going to be on nintendo switch why not get it why not sink the teeth into it me personally i'm not having any high expectations at all for this game uh, I'm going to get it for the novelty of it, <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going in expecting this game to be completely horseradish. And uh, the main reason, again, why I'm going to get it is just so I can say I have Bubsy on the Nintendo Switch. Because I think it's going to be a complete dumpster fire. Again, August 29th, it's going to be available digitally and physically. So I'm, I'm going to be picking it up physically more than likely. Now, the next game that we have here is called Oni Naki and I talked about this actually in one of my videos I did with Isha Gaming we were discussing our RPG games coming out for the Nintendo Switch this looks like it's going to be only available digitally and it's listing a August 21st date for release $44.99 for a digital release that's actually pretty pricey I'm really hoping that they decide to come out with a release of it or at least one of these limited run things come out. There is a demo already available in the Nintendo Switch eShop if you want to give it a little look-see and take a look at it. But this one actually caught my attention solely for the reason that it's a hack and slash type of style of game. Uh, there's a lot of customization with the weapons and the loadout and everything like that. There's like a, a whole bunch of demons that you can use to customize how your character fights. And uh, I think it's going to be actually really neat. I, I like these deep, huge compelling single player experiences and this one actually has a real good looking visual art style as well that i just want to really play so uh if you haven't checked out any of these games it's made by tokyo rpg factory who does fantastic they have a good reputation and stuff this is august 21st 44.99 it's a little bit on the higher end especially if it's going to be digital only i don't see anything on nintendo's website that is actually even specifying that it might be released physically or not i could be mistaken but uh you know give it a little look see i, I mean i think it looks good now the next one we have is damsel this is an indie game it's going to be available august 7th and it has a neat little premise you're you're um it's a classic arcade style type of game it has like a good little like cartoony comic book type of vibe you're playing as a damsel but she's not in distress i think it looks pretty cool it looks neat uh she has like you know shooting abilities dash abilities everything like that honestly i think this game looks like it's going to be a freaking phenomenal little indie game it's an arcade platformer this is everything that i look for in indie games solid little like neo retro style type of titles and everything and i just think it looks really fun i think it's going to be something that is going to actually impress me so definitely available august 7th it says that it's going to be on sale for 14.44 that's a weird price but it's regularly going to be 16.99 again this one is digital only in the eShop. Um, small title that I haven't seen many people talking about it. I personally will be covering it. In fact, I already have a review copy of it that I will be checking out 
shortly making a video about it so stay tuned the next one is another indie game this is called solo island of the heart this is going to be available august 1st for 15.99 it's going to be regularly 19.99 they're saying it's a game about love about love as the fuel that force the force that drives us it's an a adventure role-playing platformer puzzle type of game uh i the main thing that caught my attention of this is the cell shaded type of graphics that this game presents and stuff and i like things that are kind of a little bit of a, a puzzle type of game and things like that you know that's why i like things about like legend of zelda and things that kind of give you this kind of homely type of a vibe to it and stuff like that and this one looks like it's something that i definitely could spend a lot of time in again august 1st right at the beginning of the game i think this one's going to be something that is going to actually catch my attention emotionally and make me like uh i'm, I'm probably gonna fall in love with this game and then the big barn burners that i'm looking forward to and mainly because i missed out on this initial release when it came out on the ps4 and xbox one august 13th <laughs> great date friday 13th itself friday 13th the game ultimate slasher edition coming out physically for the nintendo switch 39.99 i did not play it when it came out on steam and ps4 and all that i've missed it i've missed the boat and I didn't think it would ever come to Nintendo Switch, but we're getting it. I love Friday the 13th series. Who doesn't like Jason Voorhees? I'm definitely going to be sinking my teeth into this one. This is going to have several things that are included from the original. I guess all the different varieties of Jasons and everything like that. It's a game where you basically hide from the computer or player, whoever's Jason at the time. Uh, you know, it's it's a multiplayer survival game that takes place at Camp Crystal Lake. And I've seen tons of Let's Plays about it tons of people playing it this looks like it's going to be something that's great and perfect to play for nintendo switch online august 13th it's going to be 39.99 i'm buying it physically and then last but not least astral chain which is a game that i have had my eye on since i've seen it talked about at e3 this has come out at the end of the month august 30th 59.99 there's also the whole nintendo voucher type of thing that is uh redeemable with this game that whole voucher program that they talked about anything but this is a huge combat based rpg game that's gonna be coming out um it's talking you know it's like a huge thing about in the future with like an interdimensional invasion of you know living weapons and things like that and features um a lot of like it's more like an action rpg i would say but it has a heavy anime type of look that just caught my attention this is something that reminds me of like xenoblade chronicles x a huge single player campaign game that i can sink so many hours into and this one is finally coming out i have not checked anything else about it i don't know if there was a demo or anything i'm to my knowledge there wasn't but a physical release game of this is what i'm more than happy for i will be picking this up august 30th checking it out i'm probably gonna lose a lot of sleep playing this game but i'm absolutely looking forward to sinking my teeth into it so guys yeah these were my picks that was what six games for the month of august that i'm looking forward to the most what are your picks is there anything that i might have missed maybe a smaller indie title maybe a bigger release that i just kind of skipped over comment down below let me know and again if this was your first time checking the channel out if you've never been here before feel free to throw a subscription my way smash that like button on the way out i'll see you on the next video guys you have a great day thanks a lot for watching again Peace out. I will be appearing at Game On Expo August 9th to the 11th. Looking forward to it. This is my fourth Game On Expo. Holy cow. Already been there several times. Each time I go, more and more, I enjoy it. It becomes much more epic. I mean, this year alone, we're going to have Charles Marnay, who voices Mario. We're going to have the voice actor for Bowser, the voice actor for Peach. We're gonna have the voice actor for Ash Ketchum and the voice actor for Bulbasaur and other Pokemon. So there's a lot of voice actors. It's not just a YouTube convention, but some of your favorite YouTubers, including myself and Shady J from the Shady J Show, will be in attendance. But also John Hancock, Boogie2988, Kinsey, Metal Jesus Rocks, John Riggs, and plenty more that have yet to be announced will be at this convention. It's an awesome three day convention. There's so much to do here. They have 
lots of tournaments, lots of panels, lots of after party activities, things like this. You know, the desert's already hot, but when Game On Expo comes to Phoenix, it is super hot. So this is at the Phoenix Convention Center, right in the heart of downtown. There's a lot of different bars, pubs, restaurants, and everything to do. I always have a great time. And again, I will be out there with some merch and you know taking pictures kissing babies things like that so yeah first game on expo and then we have southeast game exchange coming up so that's my two august conventions which i'm definitely looking forward to being a part of consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month link below in the description you want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.